Thinking of exploring Virginia on your next vacation? If so, then visiting the city of Charlottesville is a must. Fondly known as filled by locals, the city oozes charm and boasts a rich history. You'll find plenty of fun things to do in Charlottesville, Virginia, for the whole family, from exploring cool museums to hopping between wineries. Among the top tourist attractions in Charlottesville, Virginia, you'll explore the historic homes of U.S. Presidents Thomas Jefferson and James Monroe. Stroll around the beautiful campus of the University of Virginia to admire its lovely architecture and take in some art at the Fralin Museum of Art. So, here is the list of 10 best things to do in Charlottesville, Virginia. Before we start, make sure you subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for the latest upcoming travel videos. Here we go. Number 1. Thomas Jefferson's Monticello Thomas Jefferson, who served as the third president of the United States between 1801 and 1809, cleared the top of the 868-foot Monticello Mountain and built his dream home, which he was always continuously remodeling, at the top. The house is a gorgeous neoclassical mansion, surrounded by vast meadows and stretches of forest. Monticello was originally a plantation, and there were up to 80 slaves working there at once, most under the age of 16. Jefferson sold and bought slaves, and it's estimated he would have had about 200 slaves per year, distributed across Monticello and his other properties, Albemarle County Farms, and Poplar Forest Estate. Number 2. Historic Downtown Mall Charlottesville's Downtown Mall is a pedestrian-only area that occupies a seven-block span along historic East Main Street in the heart of the city. If you're getting peckish but not sure what you're in the mood for, this is the place to visit for inspiration, with over three dozen cafes, restaurants, and miscellaneous eateries to satisfy every taste. It's also the center of Charlottesville's art scene, home to numerous galleries and performance venues, including the Music Hall at the Jefferson Theater and performances of all kinds at Paramount Theater. There's plenty of shopping, too, with two bookstores, one for the pre-loved and one for the shiny new books, a vinyl record shop, gift boutiques, an upscale pawn shop, and even a day spa. Number 3. University of Virginia A little trivia for you, did you know the University of Virginia is the only university in the United States to be designated a World Heritage Site by UNESCO? And it's not hard to see why, it's a bastion of U.S. education, and it holds an unofficial reputation for containing the country's most magnificent campus grounds. It's also historically significant, as it was founded by Thomas Jefferson in 1819 as the first non-sectarian, or non-religious, university in the country. Charlottesville visitors don't just tour UVA as prospective students, they also come just to relish in its spectacle. Recent visitors gushed about the gorgeous grounds and highly recommended taking a tour. Number 4. Shenandoah National Park Taking a day trip to Shenandoah National Park should be at the top of any nature lover's Charlottesville bucket list. With 500 miles of hiking trails, cascading waterfalls, towering peaks, and stunning lookout points, it's impossible not to be enamored with this beautiful national park. But if you've only got time for one activity, take a mini road trip along Skyline Drive. You'll want to allot a full day to tackle the 105 mile long stretch of road. While the drive itself will take about three hours, you'll want to leave plenty of time to hike at least a few trails and take as many photos as possible. For some of the best views on Skyline Drive, you'll want to stop off at the Range View Overlook and the Point Overlook. That being said, you'll pass dozens upon dozens of viewpoints along the way. Time your visit with the first week of October, and you'll be rewarded with spectacular views of the fall foliage. Number 5. James Monroe's Highland On to the next presidential home in Charlottesville, James Monroe's Highland. Once the home of the fifth president of the United States, James Monroe, Highland is set right next to Jefferson's Monticello. 
Once spanning over 3,500 acres, the Highland property has been beautifully preserved and is now a working farm and museum. You can explore the grounds on a guided tour that delves into the life and times of Monroe during his tenure as president. Wander through the slave quarters to get a sense of their hardship and strife. Set some time aside to meander along Highlands trails and soak up the picturesque rural scenery. Make a stop at the museum shop on your way out to pick up 19th century authentic souvenirs, Monroe memorabilia, and locally made hickory syrup. Number 6. Carter Mountain Orchard If you're looking for family-friendly things to do in Charlottesville, spending an afternoon at Carter Mountain Orchard should be at the top of your to-do list. This is the place to go to pick your own fresh fruits and veggies straight from the orchard. Think apples, strawberries, peaches, and so much more, depending on the season, of course. There's also the adorable country store and bakery on site, where you can shop for seasonal fruits and veggies, as well as an impressive selection of specialty foods. Plus, the bakery dishes out some seriously good apple cider donuts and other sweet treats everyone in the family is sure to love. Carter Mountain Orchard is set high up on Carter's Mountain Trail, so you'll be treated to spectacular views of Charlottesville and the Blue Ridge Mountains. Number 7. Saunders Monticello Trail This not-too-arduous four-mile trail covers a vast range of landscapes over its short course. From native hardwood forest to ravines and viewpoints with panoramic views of the Blue Ridge Mountains. Whether you want to bike it, walk it, or run it, the trail is paved and flat, the perfect holiday walk through the woods. The trail starts at the Kemper Park and Arboretum, then winds its way along Carter Mountain until arriving at the entrance of Thomas Jefferson's house, Monticello. There are woodpeckers and migrating raptors that will accompany your walk too. One great thing about the Saunders Monticello Trail is that it's wheelchair accessible and it's just 10 minutes drive from the center of Charlottesville. Number 8. Virginia Discovery Museum Families looking for a nice diversion will want to visit the Virginia Discovery Museum, conveniently located at the eastern end of the downtown mall. Designed for children 0 to 8 years old, the museum is home to over a dozen hands-on exhibits that encourage learning through play and interaction. For the youngest visitors, the Sensory Studio features a play area for ages newborn to 2, including a separate area for nursing moms and easy access to the restrooms. Nearby, a giant light bright wall encourages fine motor skills and color recognition, and the Showalter cabin sparks an interest in history as kids pretend to live in an authentic 18th century cabin. Other exhibits include STEM labs, a literacy lounge, a sound and music studio, and several themed imaginative play areas, including a bakery, a farm, and a post office. Number 9. The Glass Palette Interactive Glass Art Studio Located on East Market Street, the Glass Palette Interactive Glass Art Studio gives guests of varying ages a chance to create works of art using glass. The studio provides instructions, materials, and tools and offers classes and workshops mostly designed for older teenagers to adults. There are introductory classes, weekend workshops, and one-night glass art experience classes. The studio's BYOB Glass Art Experience takes place on Thursday evenings and requires reservations. After sips and snacks, guests create glass works of art. Private parties can also be held at the studio, which supplies all the materials and food. Number 10. Walnut Creek Park Walnut Creek Park is one of the best places in Charlottesville to spend a few hours in nature and a favorite with outdoor enthusiasts. The park spans over 500 acres and boasts dense old-growth woods crisscrossed with well-marked hiking trails. This makes it a fantastic spot for hiking and mountain biking. The park is usually packed on the weekends with hikers and riders. If you prefer something more passive, the park is home to Walnut Creek Lake. The lake is well stocked with fish and a good spot for casting a line. 
You can also enjoy seasonal swimming off the park's two beaches and disc golf on an 18-hole course. Rent a canoe and paddle around the lake and enjoy a picnic lunch amongst the trees. Number 11. Jefferson Vineyards. Jefferson Vineyards is one of Charlottesville's favorite wineries for several reasons. 1. Its heritage, commissioned by Thomas Jefferson who donated this part of his land to a viticulturist for the purpose of producing wine. 2. Its size, it boasts 22 acres of vines. And 3. Its low tasting fee, only $12 to taste 8 wines and you get to take your tasting glass home. Its convenient location, a little more than a mile southeast of Monticello, isn't too shabby either. It's for these reasons that travelers highly recommend stopping at the vineyard. When you're not sampling the wine in the tasting room, grab a bottle and park yourself on the outdoor lawn space or indoor seating area for some truly spectacular views. You're also welcome to bring your own picnic. Number 12. IX Art Park. Explore the creative side of the city at the vibrant IX Art Park in downtown Charlottesville. The park is a welcoming community space set in a vacant factory that was once a textile mill and features an acre of sculptures, bright murals, and picnic tables. The park is a part of the Larger Nine Project, which promotes art, inclusivity, and community empowerment. IX Art Park also hosts a variety of events throughout the year, from concerts and festivals to poetry readings. Spend a few hours here checking out the amazing murals and sculptures and enjoy a picnic lunch. After you're done, head indoors to the Looking Glass for a completely immersive art experience. Wander through a psychedelic world of color, explore an enchanted forest, and discover caves of kaleidoscopic light. It'll bring out your inner child, and the kids will love it. The last word. So, guys, this was the best list of things to do in Charlottesville, Virginia. Hope you will like it and appreciate it. People who come to this city are amazed by all of the awesome things there are to do and see. This thriving university town, set in what Thomas Jefferson referred to as the Eden of the United States, welcomes visitors with family-friendly activities, warm hospitality, and meandering mountain drives, where the journey is the destination. To get the most out of your sightseeing here, be sure to check out our list of the top attractions and things to do in Charlottesville, Virginia. So, if you love to travel and you want to see the whole world then Tripoyer is the channel that gives you a list of the best places to visit in the USA. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and press the bell icons for the latest upcoming travel videos. Bye bye, see you.